welcome back today we are going to uncover the structure of a data warehouse before we dive in make sure to watch our introductory video to get up to speed now let's understand the core components that form the structure of a data warehouse every data warehouse is built on a foundation of essential components such as data sources data integration database and business intelligence first up data sources these are the life blood of any data warehouse ranging from operational databases to customer feedback forms these are the initial inputs that feed the data warehousing process let's break down the concept of data sources into a more digestible format as we begin our illustration we'll focus on three primary data sources that are crucial for retail operations customer data order data and product data these represent diverse facets of business information that a data warehouse needs to consolidate and analyze looking at our first data source customer data this includes demographics purchase history and feedback providing a 360 degrees view of a customer's interaction with the business applications such as crm systems feed this data into the data warehouse next we have order data encapsulating details like order history payment transactions and shipping information the nuts and bolts of the sales cycle systems like erp and order management systems are typically leveraged here and finally product data which contains specifications inventory levels and supplier information which is the backbone of what's being sold inventory management systems and supplier databases play a key role in gathering this data connecting these data sources we integrate them into a larger structure our data warehouse this data integration is a broad classification for data extraction transformation and loading from the data source into the target repository etl tools and integration platforms such as informatica power center talent microsoft sql server integration services and ibm data stage facilitate this critical step this brings us to a critical component often called the database within our data warehouse let me clarify when we speak of the database in a data warehouse context we are not referring to the operational databases that handle daily transactions instead we are talking about the specialized repository specifically structured to hold and manage the integrated data from our diverse sources this database is engineered to support complex queries and analytics enabling fast and efficient data retrieval it is a pivotal part of the data warehouse structure designed to work in tandem with upstream data sources and its downstream business intelligence to unlock the full potential of our data i'll explain the business intelligence tools in a bit but before that let's look at the technologies that can be leveraged to manage this critical component relational database management systems such as oracle sql server and db2 or newer distributed database systems like amazon redshift google bigquery and snowflake are commonly employed to manage this component efficiently now having integrated and stored the data we arrive at the next stage extracting actionable insights this is where business intelligence tools come into play serving as the bridge that transforms stored data into strategic insights these bi tools connect to the data warehouse to analyze data generate reports and visualize insights they simplify complex data into easily understandable and actionable business information but why is there a need for bi tools when you could directly pull the required information from the database well it's because interpreting the data to derive meaningful insights 
typically requires technical expertise like SQL proficiency. Not every business user has the technical skills to interact with the data warehouse directly, nor do they have the time to analyze complex data sets. They look for a quick, comprehensive snapshot of their business insights. Business intelligence tools streamline this process, acting like a magnifying glass that highlights clear patterns and trends displaying business growth across different regions and periods at a glance. With these insights, business users can better understand customer behavior, optimize inventory management, and improve product offerings. Tools like Tableau, Power BI, and ClickSense are just a few examples of the resources available for these purposes. As the variety of data sources grows, integrating this information becomes increasingly complex. The storage infrastructure must be scalable to accommodate the expanding volume of the data. Additionally, there arises a necessity for more sophisticated dashboards and scorecards to interpret and utilize the information effectively. Consequently, this escalation in both volume and variety contributes to greater complexity in the data warehouse structure. In future videos, we'll delve into how data warehouses utilize various data modeling techniques like the star schema and snowflake schema, each tailored to meet different analytical requirements. These discussions will help us understand their role in optimizing data retrieval and analysis. For now, let's focus on the foundational elements and underpin our data warehouse structure. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, the strength of a data warehouse lies in its design and the strategic use of its data. Let's keep learning and keep growing. We'll see you in the next video.